It's not going to bring us any rain, but what it is going to do is take this cool air and push out that warm air. So you can see just to the south of Tehachapi, we are seeing some heavy rain in that location. We are seeing some uh, lightning up near Tehachapi. What it's going to do tomorrow is expand a little bit here. So what's going to happen is that flow is going to become a little bit more offshore, and so we're going to see a little bit more warmer air filtering in tomorrow. So it's going to begin to move east. As it moves east, it's going to suck in some tropical moisture from tropical storms. Rosa, these two systems working together to bring us that chance for some rain. You can see some uh, cumulus clouds developing out there, a sign that we are seeing some vertical lift in the atmosphere, and it's with that lift that we are producing some thunderstorms. So to our uh, east here, we have a ridge of high pressure. To our west, we have a ridge of high pressure. And sandwiched in between this is this area of low pressure, and that's helping to pull in this nice ocean cooled air. Not really seeing that rain, at least not yet. That's going to be changing into the next few hours here. Just to put this in perspective here for you, at three feet, that water is toppling over the cars. At about six feet, that water going over the doorway. These lines here are going to start to go up a little bit here, so this means our temperatures warming up a tad bit. Of high pressure overhead is putting a cap on the air, and all that smoke is just trapped underneath. It's pushing this warm, dry desert air right through those mountains, and as they funnel through those mountains, they compress and just heat up the air. Come on, everybody. Yes, Reina. This is how we get through this. This is my favorite. <laughs> this is my favorite. I could do this all day. Everybody at home. Come on. High pressure is just going to take over the forecast here as he moves inland throughout the week. Highs in the valley reaching the upper 90s. If you look at that green there, what does that mean? A chance for some rain in the forecast. Some cirrus clouds out there, feather like clouds. These uh, clouds form at about 20,000 feet in the atmosphere and they're made of ice crystals. That dark red color here. This indicates a very extreme fire danger and it becomes more widespread tomorrow afternoon. So those temperatures very close to what we saw yesterday and that's because we have this Rex block pattern overhead. This means little changes in the forecast. All of that rain, all of that snow is pretty much just going to go up and around us because that ridge of high pressure is just deflecting everything off to the north. We could see these gusts reach up to about 60 miles per hour. So with that, we could see blowing dust, especially here in the valley for today. The ridge Risk for thunderstorms is in our desert communities. He said there is some street flooding in parts of Arvin right now. So if you're heading in that direction, please be mindful of that water on the roadways. As we always say, turn around, don't drown. Do have this air quality alert in place for all of Kern County, and here's why we have fires still burning in Northern California. And we're also dealing with this northwesterly wind pushing down that polar jet stream, and so that's filtering in all of that cold air as we head into your Thursday. We're going to cool things down back into the mid 80s. You can see just how dense that fog is out there. As the rocket moves up in the atmosphere, the pressure starts to decrease, and that allows the rocket trail to expand. Behind this cold front, we're seeing much colder air. This usually happens when a cold front passes on through. Temperatures a little bit warmer compared to what we felt 24 hours ago, and that's because this low that's been keeping us seasonal for the past couple of days here is beginning to move towards the north and east here high pressure beginning to move on shore. So this means our temperatures are going to warm up into the next couple of days. As we head into the later afternoon hours, four, five, six o'clock in the evening, those gusts could be picking up to 50 miles per hour. And if you've ever driven over the passes over the grapevine, the 58, when it's windy like that, you know how dangerous it could be. So there is a thunderstorm right here, just to the north of Wasco. They are seeing this uh, westerly wind coming in. So that's just keeping all of that smoke out of our area. Did you heart the weather today because it loves you. Here's a picture sent in from Billy Abrego and get a look at that cloud right there. It is in the shape of a heart. Look at that short term forecast. We could see some heavy rain push through our desert communities within the hour. Could see some light rain up near Lake Isabella, possibly could see a cell move into Tehachapi. We can see lots of thunderstorms across the region, all due to that ridge of high pressure, which is pumping in um, some monsoon moisture from the south here. Luckily, we're going to start to see our temperatures drop into the next few days so that fire danger will start to go down. Here's your fire danger for this afternoon. If you are up near Lake Isabella to Hatchby, up near uh, California City, Mojave, Edwards Air Force Base, you do have a moderate fire danger for this afternoon. As we take a live look outside right now, it is looking nice and clear, not dealing with any smoke or anything like that. You can see some high clouds pushing through, but for the most part, we are seeing uh, sunny skies out there. Temperatures currently at 97 degrees right now, and throughout the afternoon, we 
will start to warm up back to the triple digits on Friday. We also made it to 101 degrees Saturday 102 yesterday 105 degrees. So this is three days in a row of triple digit heat. So we are officially in heat wave number four. Now if you remember our last heat wave heat wave number three, that was a long one. 26 days. That's what we saw. Now heat wave number four will not be as long as heat wave number three. And here's why high pressure is going to slowly move east here. That's going to result in a nice cool onshore flow coming in from the ocean here. So this means starting Tuesday, our temperatures are going to drop back to that seasonal high temperature for this time of year. So for today, still going to be hot at 102 degrees. High pressure is still in control here. 89 in Tatchby, 96 in Lake Isabella, 106 Ridgecrest, 102 Edwards Air Force Base. If you're in Fraser Park, 86 degrees. And then by tomorrow afternoon, as that sun rises in the sky, get a look at this temperature here. 96 degrees, finally closer to that seasonal high temperature for this time of year. And these temperatures, these seasonal temperatures, will continue not just this week, but possibly all the way until next week. So here's what your calendar looks like. Here's today 102 degrees tomorrow 99. That's what we're going with here at Eyewitness News 97 by Wednesday and the cooling things down below normal starting Thursday and that could continue all the way until next Friday. Let's all hope and if you're planning on getting that car wash here in the clear, we're not expected to see any rain into the next seven days ahead. OK, rolling out that seven day forecast for you 102 this afternoon afternoon 99 by Tuesday, finally staying in the 90s, not just this week, but all the way possibly until next week. Overnight lows in the upper 60s. If you're in the mountains 90s this afternoon, one more day at that 90 degree temperature. And then by Tuesday, cooling things down to 87 degrees, staying in the 80s all the way until this weekend. Morning lows beautiful in the mid to low 50s. Hey, if you're in the Kern Valley, 97 degrees for this afternoon, starting to cool things down in the low 90s by Tuesday. I know everybody's excited to see that temperature on the map, and then it's going to get even cooler as we head into the weekend. 91 degrees and overnight lows dropping in the mid to low 60s.